Hello Year One, here's your answer and feedback video for Friday's lesson. So first of all, we'll scroll, scroll down through this sheet. Quarter of four was one. We can see that the groups have been circled. Quarter of 12 was three. We could have split that in half this way and half that way. And a quarter of 20 was five. And then I'd recommend you use some counters for these to help you. Half of 12 was six. And then a quarter of 12 was three. So we can halve it to get six and halve it again. Half of 16 is eight, half it again to get four. Half of eight was four, half it again to get two. So you might have noticed that halve it and halve it again pattern. And here we've got a quarter is six. And if you completed all of the other quarters, then you'd see that if you're struggling to count in threes or sixes, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. And here is some feedback about the reasoning problems. So to help you solve these, there is a diagram. There is an extra challenge, but you could always draw a different diagram and try and make up some of your own questions. So first of all, how many suites are there all together? Three, six, nine, there are 12 all together. We can use the diagram to find out what a quarter of 12 is. And it is three because there are three suites in each section. We've got a missing number problem here. Three is one quarter of 12. That was the total that we've started with. Now these get a little bit more tricky. I have 12 sweets. I eat a quarter, so it could be this quarter. How many do I have left? So we need to count up the other three quarters, three, six, nine. If we ate three, there'd be nine left if I total all of these. Sam and Joe have 12 sweets. They both eat one quarter each. How many are left? So if we imagine Sam ate these and Joe ate those ones, there'd be the top sections left. So they would have six, they'd have half left. I have some sweets. I eat a quarter of them. So we could cross that out. There are nine left. How many did I have to start with? So, if we think about that one, it's very much like question four. So I have some sweets, I eat a quarter. That's this quarter. And there are nine left. So if you came across a question like this without a diagram, try and draw it. So you could draw the shape having been split into quarters, a circle or a square, up to you. You could draw the shape, the amount that are left, shared between the three sections. And that you'll, will show you that you had 12 to start with. And last of all, we've got this problem. Snappy, who I imagine is a crocodile, ate half a bag of 10 strawberries. Tiny ate a quarter of a bag of 16 strawberries. So let's have a quick look at that one on the whiteboard. Okay, so it asks us to prove this question. Snappy ate half a bag of 10 strawberries. So have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that means if it was half the bag, then Snappy must have eaten five. Let's look at a quarter of 16. So one, might need to make these a bit tinier. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. So we sorted our sixteen into quarters. So a quarter of 16 was four. So for this one, half of 10 was five and a quarter of 16 was four. That means that Snappy ate the most.